Dallas City Council is going to move forward with its plans to replace the K. Bailey Hutchison Convention Center with a new 2.5 million square foot building and several new amenities, as you'd imagine. As Aaron Jones will show you now, the overall goal here is to completely transform downtown Dallas to attract new visitors and to bring major tourism dollars into the city. Doug, the plan would not only include a new convention center, but a convention district and maybe even a deck park that would connect here to the Cedars neighborhood, something businesses in the area say they would benefit from. Four years ago, Monica Green opened a new restaurant in Dallas's Cedars neighborhood, seeing its potential. This is an entertainment district with Gillies, and we have other venues here that play music. But she says with everything it has to offer, she did notice one deterrent. There's a psychological uh, barrier for people to come to this area and the highways that you have to cross in order to get here. Today's vote from the Dallas City Council, music to her ears. Council members approving a plan to build a $2 billion convention center west of Lamar Street, with an additional $2 billion going towards redevelopment projects, one of which would be to build a deck park over I-30 connecting to the Cedars. City projections show compared to the K. Bailey Hutchinson Convention Center, the project would nearly double annual attendance, yield 50 to 100,000 jobs, and create 30 to 50 50 billion dollars in total spending over 30 years. A 2% increase on city hotel tax would have to be approved by voters to fund the project. Right. Is we really don't know what's going to happen in the future with conventions. COVID's changed travel, it's changed the workplace. Council member Carol Mendelson, the only opponent to the plan. So there's problems with the convention center. The way it was designed, the COVID has not helped and none of those things. I think there are some new ways or to look into conventions and convention centers. Green believes they could thrive if they become more of an all-encompassing experience for visitors, offering not only space for conventions, but great retail, dining, entertainment, and hotel options as well. And for those wondering how long it will take for this project to be complete, that's likely years away. Some city officials estimating at least five years. In Dallas, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News. Aaron,